The rarest crafting part in Dying Light 2 has got to be the batteries. Batteries are extremely useful and can be used to craft weapon mods as well as other fun tools. They're extremely rare and you won't really find them unless you look for them. In this video I'm going to show you the best ways to farm these and where you can find them. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video or throughout the entire video because I guarantee you at least one of these ways you did not know you could use to get a battery. Now before I continue I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video if you found it useful and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And I'd also like to let you guys know if you leave a super thanks I'll feature the comment in my next upload. But with that being said let's get right into the video. Now firstly the batteries say that they can be found in forsaken stores and in evacuation convoys. Now let's talk about the evacuation convoys first. These convoys have an armored truck and delivery vans. Now the armored truck that's usually what holds the battery but the delivery trucks almost never have them. As a matter of fact I've never actually seen a battery in one of these. So the evacuation convoys aren't actually worth getting in my opinion. Instead I recommend going for the military convoys. The military convoys will have one of these armored trucks giving you one chance to get a battery and also an ambulance of some kind which also has a battery so you'll have two chances of getting a battery. So the first step ignore the evacuation convoys and go for the military ones instead. You can also find a windmill next to one of these military convoys. Loot the batteries from these and then go up to the windmill and sleep for one whole day. This will refresh the loot and then you can head on down and loot them again. Now of course it's not guaranteed that you'll get one every single time. There's a chance you won't get one but you'll have two chances instead of just one with the military convoys. So the first way you can farm batteries is by heading over to a windmill that has a military convoy next to it then looting for the batteries, going to sleep for one day and then going back to looting the batteries. So that's one way. Now the batteries say you can find these in forsaken stores. Now the problem with these in my opinion is that when you get into a forsaken store you not only have to deal with the infected but you also have to find this hard locked locker. The reason why is that you can't find batteries anywhere else. And when you open this locker there's a chance that you might not even get one. So it's one chance and it's a lot of trouble. But if you don't mind doing it then this is one way you can get them. But keep in mind you can only get a battery from this locker. You will not find them anywhere else in the store. Now next way is to head over to Harper our Night Runner friend and buy these Night Runner craft part packs. Now the reason why is because every time you buy one of these you're guaranteed three batteries among other craft parts and materials. So if you've got a lot of these lying around you can get a lot of batteries from him. I made a video on how you can do these like how you can do the challenges, the bounties and farm tokens so I'll leave that in the description down below or you can click the annotation right here at the top right. And before anyone asks no you cannot go to the huntress and do the same thing. She will not give you batteries with her pack. Now if you've done a new game plus you'll unlock these GRE aberrations. Now what that means is that when you complete it you will get two kinds of chests. They're both pilgrim chests but one of them will give you exotic weapons and explosives and all that kind of stuff. But the other one will give you materials. Now opening up these 10 chests I got 3 batteries which is a pretty good amount. And it's pretty good for me since it takes me about 10 seconds to complete one of these challenges and get the chests. If you guys want to get these glitched weapons I'll leave a video at the end of this. So make sure to stay tuned. But yeah this is a fairly quick way to get batteries if you have the right setup. And if you've done a new game plus. And now for the last way you can get batteries. In the Dying Light store there's the Brecken bundle and if you've bought it you will unlock this wrench blueprint that you can craft. Now when you craft this blueprint you can dismantle the weapon and get a chance to actually get batteries. So far this is the only weapon that I know of that can actually do this. So if you're willing to spare all these resources to craft the weapon and dismantle them and dismantle the weapon you can actually get a lot of batteries in a short amount of time. So this could possibly be the fastest way to get batteries. Now if you found this video helpful please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel and check out this playlist for the most useful Dying Light 2 videos. Or if you want to know how you can get your hands on glitched weapons check out this video right here. Other than that hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.